Hey guys, Yuri here, and today I'm gonna show you how to transfer your data from the old PS4 to the new PS4. Uh, in the official website, Sony recommends Gigabit LAN. It is automated system. One is required only one wire, and the other is requires two wire and one router. It is easy because, like I said, it's automated. But there are some trial errors that the official website doesn't guide you. So in this video, I did all the trial errors. So I will show you how to solve those problems and transfer your data as fast and easy as you can. So without further ado, let's do this. The simplest method is letting those PS4s communicate each other directly via the LAN cable. This is the easiest because you don't need to worry about uh, how each PS4 is connected to the network. Both PS4 has to be on the same network with same method. And the other method is the router. It involves between the two PS4s. They communicate each other through the router. So you're gonna need two cables to connect each PS4s into the router. And I don't recommend this because it is super complicated compared to the first method and also it's really delicate. Which means there are a lot of obstacles you're gonna face if you decide to go through this method, which is unnecessary. So after you've finished all the setups, first turn on the original PS4 that contains all the data and log in your account. Before you transfer the data, Remove all the things that you don't need. You can uh, remove it from the storage management. And as you see, the app because of the applications, it's about 200 gigabytes. And after I remove all the games that I don't play, it's around 40 gigabytes, which means I can finish this uh, five times faster. You have to connect your both PS4s in the same network because it's going to authenticate your account. And if you have some problems in the internet connection, you're going to see these two examples. Uh, the case could be different, so uh, check the error code and Google it. Then you're going to see proper solution for your situation. And then turn on your new PS4 and log in. And the system's going to ask, are you going to activate this as your primary PS4? And next one, uh, of course, you're going to say yes. Uh, it'll automatically ask you, to, would you transfer the data from the PS4? So let's proceed. And it's going to ask, did you prepare all the setups per, uh, correctly? Press next. It's going to start searching your original PS4. And then uh, it's going to ask you to press the power button of your original PS4 for one second until the system beeps. You're gonna hear the beep sound and after wait probably 30 seconds the system's gonna ask uh, there are some trophies that are not synced on the network. The transfer won't delete the data but it's just asking there's no backup for this. I'm okay with it so I'm just gonna press OK and this is the data that ready to be transferred and as you can see due to the applications uh, the total size is about 200 gigabytes and the system says it will take five hours <laughs> this is why i recommend deleting the unnecessary files in advance when i recording this i didn't know that the transferring is this slow so i went back to the <laughs> original ps4 and deleting all the applications and data that i don't need so after I done deleting, the size shrank about 45 gigabytes. So now let's transfer the data. Press next. And then it's going to reboot. And it's about to take a minute to see this screen again. I just edit it. Uh, it'll reach 90% and it'll stay a little while. Soon it's going to jump up to the 100% and start transferring. And this is what it looks like when you finish transferring. As you can see, there is no difference <laughs> between the old PS4 and new this PS4. 
And I think this is a really good addition because it makes me feel more comfortable to have this convenient tool that allows me to jump into the completely new system. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys soon.